Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Good morning, everyone. Well, we talked about it. The rain that was said to move in through the overnight arrived right on time, and you're waking up to a very soggy beginning to your Friday. But at least it's Friday, the last day of the week. The rain's not going to last all day. Just those showers that we need for those mushrooms to start growing, getting our plants growing outside, things that are just common this time of year. And that's what we're talking about outside this morning. Storm Tracker picking up on some of this rainfall from Rochdale down through Greencastle, across portions of Putnam County, back through Park County, through Vermilion County here in Terre Haute. We're seeing some of that light rain. And again, this is just that light stuff that's moving through. The light greens picking up on the scattered activity with the rain moving through this morning from Owen County back in the Clay County, Sullivan County, Robinson, Newton, Alney, all seeing those light rain showers out there this morning. So they will be with us again during the first part of the day, but we'll slowly continue to clear those skies out this afternoon, giving us some sunshine as we look ahead later today. So outside right now, again here in Terre Haute, we are picking up on those light rain showers. This is the pesky stuff that's going to be around for us during the morning, and that's why they've seen those temperatures taking out near 56 degrees. Now we have the center of low pressure and spinning around across southern portions of Indiana and all this moisture is wrapping around that center of low pressure, bringing in the rain for us this morning so we can continue to see the rain at least during the next couple of hours. But I do believe just after daybreak as we head to the eight and the uh, nine o'clock hour today that the rain will be exiting to our east. Futurecast has the rain out of here by 8 a.m. Although I can't rule out the chance for at least a few lingering showers through the mid morning hours today. The uh, clear skies really start to build in as that system exits to our east. Daytime highs today get back into the upper 60s. It'll be a cooler wind out of the northwest gusting to 25 miles per hour. But as you just saw, those clouds really try to get out of here. So we can't expect a little bit of sunshine. And Kevin Orbert will be in later today talking about all the sun later this afternoon. Here's temperature tracker for the day. As we get back near 65 at midday 67 by 2 p.m., your daytime highs again near 60. 69 degrees, so very seasonal, ex exactly what we can expect for the end part of April now as we inch our way closer to the first day of May. We're actually going to see a downward trend of temperatures, and we'll talk about that in the seven day forecast. But again, in the meantime, those skies stay clear tonight. Temperatures fall back into the upper 40s, a tad chilly to kick off the day on Saturday, but some warmer temperatures back in place to kick off our weekend with daytime highs back near 75 degrees Saturday afternoon. A mostly sunny sky expected and enjoy the dry conditions through the day on Saturday and even looking ahead at the first part of the day on Sunday because Rain is set to move in Sunday evening, and once it does, it's going to hang out pretty much all week long next week. A very soggy and active weather pattern setting up beginning Sunday night. So for today, again, rain showers will be around this morning with skies clearing this afternoon, becoming mostly sunny, high near 69. Clear and just a tad chilly tonight. So we fall back near 48 degrees. And then for tomorrow, rebounding to 75 with a mostly sunny sky. Definitely going to be a lot warmer for your Saturday. Now, looking ahead at the remainder of the next seven days, again, Saturday, the only sunny day that you see on there because it is definitely going to turn a lot rainy as that active weather pattern sets up. Temperatures, though, they do stay a little bit more mild as we rebound near 73 on Sunday. We stay in the mid 70s for the first part of next week, a high near 65 on Wednesday and 62 next Thursday.